Hello my fellow gamers, my name is Peter and welcome to 5 production tips for NO 1800. In this video I will cover warehouses mechanics and teleporting resources, correct production building placement, how to find out and set perfect production ratios, how to track goods production globally and locally and I will talk about and show you how to move production chains to new islands. Since the basis of NO is production and consumption of goods and resources, I think it is very important for you to understand how the hubs for this core gameplay mechanic work. These hubs are the warehouses and your starting trade post. These buildings all share their inventory across one island. No matter which warehouse receives a delivery of raw resources or goods by horse carts, these items become available at every other warehouse. They didn't have teleporting tech back in the 1800s, but for the sake of transportation and production, you get to use it in this game. What this lets you do is to extract the raw resources at their nodes but process them into goods at another location on the island. The only downside of this is that you will take up the transportation capacity of all the warehouses doing this. Since I am personally a huge fan of Anno games, I have made many Anno tutorials and guides that you can check out on my channel by clicking on the link up here on the right and in the description below. Another important note to remember is that when you upgrade a warehouse, you increase its transportation capacity, while only when you upgrade the trading post can you get more inventory space along with more transport carts. Now this plays right into my next point, which is the correct placement of production buildings. Since Anno's economy is based on production chains, this means that each building sends out resources or goods to the next building in its chain. So to reduce the time spent for transportation, what you should try to do is to place production buildings as close to each other as possible. A good example here is the bread production chain. The grain farms send out their raw products, the grain, to a mill to be processed into flour. Then the mill sends its product, the flour, to the bakery for production of the last good in this chain, bread. This is then transported into a warehouse and then teleported across the island's marketplaces. The closer these buildings are to each other, the less time is wasted in transportation of raw resources and the higher the production rate can be. If you have been enjoying this video, please do not mind me reminding you to hit that like button below and leave a comment about which has been your favorite Anno game so far. You could also subscribe if you would like to see more content like this. And now, since I have touched on the subject of production rates, this is my next point. Once again, I will use the bread production chain as the example. When we click on the grain farm and hover over the gear icon, we can see how much time it takes for this building to produce one ton of raw grain. This is 60 seconds. The next building in this chain, the flour mill, produces one ton of flour in 30 seconds. This means that you need two grain farms for each flour mill. And then at the end of the chain, one ton of bread is produced in 60 seconds at the bakery. This tells us that one mill can produce enough flour for two bakeries to work simultaneously. So, by looking at this tooltip, you can easily figure out each production chain's production rate and the number of each buildings in that chain that you will need to build. Some chains are harder to get right because some buildings will produce in 45 seconds, but that is where the chains intertwine. An example of this is steel and cannon production. Once you combine the steelworks and the weapons factory, you can get to full production efficiency. Because this can get complicated really quickly with multiple citizen classes and several islands each producing different resources and goods, you need a way to check your production and demand levels at a glance. This you can do by using the Ctrl plus Q keys. This production statistics screen will show you total or per island production and demand for resources and goods. This way you can see exactly which goods are going to be used up unless you increase production soon or which you have made the mistake of overproducing. And once you learn to use this amazing tool, you can start moving production chains to new islands, which is my last point for this video. As you level up your farmers into workers and then to artisans and others, you need to keep your island beautiful and the environment clean. This is done by cleaning up the island and moving dirty and ugly industry buildings and production chains to your newest islands. There you start from farmers and produce massive amounts of timber, fish, schnapps and clothing. You then use ships to transfer these goods and resources to your main island, but set a small amount to be kept at the local warehouses so you can level up these farmers to workers. As your population gets higher on this new production island, it is important to increase this amount of resources so you can have in stock enough for the entire local population. Once you get workers on this new island, then you start moving your clay pits, brick factories, pig farms and slaughterhouses. And finally, 
when your production island has a large population of workers, you can start moving your iron, coal, steel, cannon production there as well. This will keep your starting island clean and beautiful, as this is a requirement for the advanced gameplay with engineers and investors. I'm going to be making many more videos about NO1800 and you can click on the cards on the screen to check them out. Thank you for watching and happy gaming!